Hi and welcome to this online training video for Automation Studio. In this video, we'll be looking at the Fluid and Line Manager. We'll be using this schematic to compare different settings when we change the parameters in the hydraulic installation parameters. We find those parameters in the project properties that can be reached by project and project properties. And we'll be looking into Fluid System and Hydraulic Installation. In here, by default, you have a single installation with a single circuit. By definition, each circuit is a set of parameters that can be applied to any circuit in your drawing. So you can add a new circuit. And here in the information section, you can change its installation number and their descriptions. The installation number is more used as a structuring parameter if you have different systems in your hydraulic circuit and you want to give them some different number and descriptions then it's up to you. Each circuit or each line here is a unique set of parameters. So each set of parameters that you create will be in combination of an installation number and a circuit number. What are the specifications that you can set for each of those circuits? Well, as seen in the thermal simulation video, you can set the initial fluid temperature and the ambient temperature as well. Change their units. Set the atmospheric pressure, the air percentage, and the absolute vapor pressure. You can also change the fluid type that you want to use. You can select from all the predefined standard fluids available in Automation Studio. Finally, you can set the boundaries for the Reynolds number for the laminar and turbulent flows. In the bottom section, you can assign any line types to the different function of your lines. So here, by default, the R user defined, they are the same lines, but you can browse and choose from any standard line available in, in the Domation Studio. If you want to have a deeper look at the different line types, materials and so on, you can click on this button here to open the Fluid and Line Manager. So in this Fluid and Line Manager that are available, you can set the ones that you want to use by default. So if you have multiple circuits, let's say a high temperature and a cooling circuit, then you can define different parameters for both your circuits, change the fluid types, change the initial temperature. And then once you have configured your fluid the way you want it, you can validate. And then we'll have to apply those parameters to your circuits. So for the sake of the demonstration, I will copy the circuit And I will apply one of my circuit to my high temperature circuit and the other one to the low one. So to assign a circuit to a schematic, we go in the edit tab here and under location, you can change the different circuit that you want here. So I'll be assigning my first circuit here to my installation 1 1, which is the high temperature circuit at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. On my right circuit here, I'll be assigning this one to my second circuit, which is my low temperature circuit, with the initial temperature of minus 11 Fahrenheit degrees. Now as I start simulation, we can compare the behavior of both circuits with the same oil, the same lines, but the huge temperature difference. So I can use dynamic measuring instrument to measure the viscosity. And I'll be using the differential dynamic pressure as well to compute the pressure loss in the motor.
As expected, the low pressure temperature has a much higher viscosity than the high temperature circuit, which causes a smaller flow and a much higher pressure. You can see that the wheel turns almost 20 RPMs less than the high pressure circuit. Thanks for watching this online training video for Automation Studio. We invite you to watch the other videos and we'd like to thank you for your time.